Hello Colas, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barca where we are going to be discussing on the latest as usual. We start with this Bayern Munich young sensation Musiala who in a recent interview talks Lewandowski, Gavi, Xavi, Iniesta, Messi vs Ronaldo ahead of the Barcelona clash tomorrow in the Champions League. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about this Brazilian sensation, Hendrik, that Barca have been showing serious interest alongside some other big clubs in Europe. It has just been reported that Barcelona risk missing out on the teenage whiskey with PSG pushing for 35 million euro deal for the player. So guys, before we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Barcelona will play host to Bayern Munich tomorrow in the fifth match week of the UEFA Champions League group stages. Heading into the game, Bayern Munich prodigy Jamal Musiala opened up on the excitement of that match, as well as revealing some Barcelona legends as his idols, who also, you know, giving his opinion on the Lionel Messi versus Cristiano Dibé. Musiala, regarded as one of the finest young prospects in the game currently, lost to Barcelona sensation Gavi in the race of the Copa Trophy and Golden Boy Award 2022. On missing out on the accolades of to the Barca prodigy, Musiala said, All the candidates wanted to win it. Gavi deserved it. He's a great player and he had a great season. Barcelona are staring at another group stage exit from the UEFA Champions League. The only chance that we still have, you know, to progress is if Victoria Pleasant beat Inter Milan and Barca now win the remaining two matches, that is including the one against Bayern and also, of course, Inter Milan, which will be the last game week of the Champions League group stage. When asked if Bayern want to make sure that Barcelona are eliminated, Musiala said, Barcelona are still a great team and it will be a difficult match for us. Our only goal is to continue with the same energy in the Champions League. On whether he is used to seeing former Bayern teammate Robert Lewandowski in Barcelona colors, Musiala said, It is strange, but we will get used to it. It's always nice when we meet in the end. He's a great player and a person. Talking about how he grew up watching the admire and admiring FC Barcelona, the German international stated, I watched many matches of the great Barcelona team since childhood. Messi, Xavi, Iniesta. It is amazing how they played football. You learn by watching them. Barca are a club with a strong philosophy and always choose their players and talents. It's fun for the spectators and I was one of them at the time. On the never-ending debate of who is a superior between Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, Musiala admitted that even though he adores the latter, he was always Team Messi. He said, El Clasico between Cristiano's Madrid and Messi's Barcelona used to be crazy. Despite my admiration for Cristiano, I am from Team Messi. The German sensation then admitted to idolizing Messi. He said, Messi, he scored many goals and won titles and never changed. He remained faithful to his principles. I want to continue on the same path. Great words there from Musiala, who was talking, of course, also talking about the game that is coming up tomorrow, which will be a very entertaining game. Um, a game that we need to win and of course winning by depending on results elsewhere but prior to that as we all know Inter Milan plays first so we will just be all of us who turn supporters of of Victoria Pleasant in that game because we need Victoria Pleasant to win or to draw at least then we stand a chance a slim chance slim chance but we just have to keep our expectations very low because I don't want to put a lot of expectations at the end it might just bite us so we can see Musiala talking about many things about Barcelona, Messi, especially how he loves Messi a lot. He's a Messi fan as well. He he was a Barca supporter when it comes to El Clasico. So it's great to hear such words from this young talent, of course, who was nominated among the nominees. He was among the nominees for the Copa Trophy and also the Golden Boy Award. But of course, he did not win. Gavi won both the Copa Trophy and the Golden Boy 2022 and we can hear Musella himself admitting that Gavi deserves those trophies. Gavi had a great season, had a great year and for him he deserves those trophies. Of course, 
um, that what a great humility from Musiala or from those his words. I think he's a great professional despite being young. And let's see how it goes. Uh, the game against Bayern tomorrow will be a game that we need to put our best to ensure that we win them after a very bad run of results against Bayern in recent years. So let's see how it's going to look like, you know, in what would be an entertaining clash as it have always been because we need to win. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, according to a report from Dario Sport, Barcelona are on the brink of missing out on the pursuit of Hendrik. The Palmeiras youngster is currently one of the hottest prospects in world football. Having already made his professional debut at the age of just 15, having now turned 16, he has become a subject of interest for various top clubs across Europe. Barcelona were among the club's best positions to sign him. However, it appears Barca are slowly losing grip in his pursuit due to the emergence of Paris Saint-Germain. The French champions have intensified their efforts to sign Hendrik recently. They had submitted a 20 million euro offer earlier this season, which was rejected by Palmeiras. It appears the Brazilian Giants are holding out for a fee of at least 35 million euros. The PSG board, led by Luis Campos, is likely to consider the value and come up with an offer. They are expected to close the deal within the coming months, leaving Barcelona on the brink. The Catalans are indeed not in a position to enter the race to sign Hendrik. The young star's 35 million euros valuation is not financially feasible for a club going through an economic crisis and an inflated wage budget. Not to mention Hendrik, of course, cannot move to Europe until he's 18, meaning Barcelona will be essentially spending money for a player they can employ only in 2024. It is not a feasible option for the club, and as such, the young star may end up at PSG. Barca, though, will continue to keep their eyes open in the Brazilian market in their quest to find the next footballing gem. Barca have been showing interest in this Hendrik of a player for a very long time and it would be disastrous if they fail to land him um, to Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain has also shown strong interest in Hendrik. And of course, despite this report, Barcelona still believe that they can get him. But it's not going to be an easy. We know when anytime Paris Saint-Germain, of course, enters the picture, it's always difficult because Paris Saint-Germain have that strong financial backing. So it's going to be tough though, but we just have to see how it goes. Of course, Hendrik is a hot prospect now in Brazil in world football. Many scouts are so interested for their teams to get him. So right now it looks complicated according to Dario Sport that the deal can be in favor of PSG. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.